It all started March 27, 1999, when one of the biggest basketball YouTubers was born. Jesse, or also known as Jesser the Laser, was born in Los Angeles, California. Jesser grew up enjoying basketball, hanging out with friends, and even making videos with his older brother James, or also commonly known as Jidel. Why would you do that? The other day, I was playing basketball in my front yard with my kids and uh, kind of destroyed them. The whole time I thought I was playing with you. Really? How could you even mix that up? You suck! Jesser joined the YouTube community in 2012, but not for the main reason you may think. He actually wanted to be a Minecraft YouTuber, which of course did not pan out. Ridiculously insane, but... He continued making videos, but eventually made a new channel named Jesser the Laser or just replaced by the URL. The oldest video on the channel is titled The Stockatron 9000, published August 14th, 2013. It is a 57 second long video that is very odd to say the least, but you can tell they probably had a blast filming it. Have you ever needed to stalk somebody? Well, wait no further, the Stockatron 9000 can stalk anybody. I just love stalking these children. <laughs> The Stockatron 9000 can even disguise as different objects. The Stockatron 9000 is only 9 payments of 9099 If you order now, you'll get two Stockatron 9000s for the price of one. On April 19th, 2014, you could say Jesser had created his first viral video. Him and a few friends created NBA 2K14 in real life, and it accumulated well over 300,000 views. From deep, and that one's good. At this time, Jesser only had 150 subscribers. He finally started to get some buzz, so on May 5th of 2014, he and his friends created NBA 2K14 in real life too. At the release of the video, Jesser had jumped from 150 subscribers to 500 subscribers from the first version of the video, but the second video blew up even bigger than imaginable. It grew to over 1 million video views and is known as the video that put Jesser on the 2K community map. In scoring. How about his accuracy from the foul line, guys? He is in the top 10. In three minutes to a few of the other guys on the floor. Out of bounds. He started growing and making more and more videos, even collabing with other YouTubers that made the same content as himself. On October 22nd of 2014, Jesser collabed with another YouTuber that most, if not everybody in the 2K community is aware of, and that is Cash Nasty Gaming. It was a wager video, which is one of the things Jesser is known for. Oh my gosh. Dang, I'm a really gay. I'm it feels so bad. good, Jesser. It just sounds so good. Jesser kept grinding and grinding, making some of his most known series, such as Road to the Playoffs, Pack and Pain, Wagers, and Skits, on his way to 100k. Let's think Minnesota, what? Philadelphia, maybe Milwaukee. He introduced one of his most popular series, NBA Jam Bros, with Epic Kai on June 14th of 2015. But Kai would later go missing and never return to the NBA 2K community again. I'll leave. No, I'm just dribbling oh, yeah, it out. I'm dribbling it out. Dribbling it out. Hell no. Hell no. Shoot that shit. It's your done. How we beat a team. We. The champion. Five days after Jam Bros being introduced, Jesse brought back an old classic, but this time making NBA 2K15 in real life. This was another video that blew up and accumulated over 1.5 million views. Yeah, you know, this is going to be debated by people for a long time. Six from downtown. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Doris Burke. Hey, Doris. Not shortly after the success of NBA 2K15 in real life, on June 22nd of 2015, Jesser finally hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. On August 29th, 2015, Jesser made a video called Sup Everybody, where he introduced his Bucket Squad merch and even showed off his 100k plaque. Honestly, thank you guys for leaving like ratings, all this support is absolutely mad. As Kevin Durant once said, you the real MVP. A few months later, in October of 2015, Jesser yet again addressed the doubters about him being able to dunk. He really proved all of them wrong with this hilarious video. Feet, let go. Might as well be off the backboard because I'm freaking sick. It's just too easy out here. All day, every day. Give me some. Caramel? Give me some. There we go. 
And a month after that release, on November 18th of 2015, Jester hit 200,000 subscribers and started to grow even more. Fast forward to March 20th, 2016, Jester created a video titled It's Finally Here, in which he started selling Bucket Squad shirts and hoodies. The Bucket Squad shirts are finally here, guys. The shirts and the hoodies are out right now. All the links to it in the description to the shop and stuff. I'm gonna hook you guys up. And four months later, created the Bucket Squad basketball team documentary number one, which never actually continued as a series, but was a cool concept nonetheless. Try yourself for a second. All right, it's the head honcho, Jesse. Yeah. Best Show. on the team, goat's gonna go. Uh. <laughs> Finally, the time had come because in September of 2016, Jester had finally hit 500,000 subscribers, along with on September 8th, him uploading a video about him moving into a YouTube house, along with Christopher London, also known as LSK, and Zach, also known as TTG. They would later be joined by another creator named TD Presents in February of 2017. Yo, shake and bake, what's good, bro? Nick the Bull's in the house! And, uh, and, uh, and from the dead? Oh shit. Oh shit. All the way from Australia? Australia laser beam! Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I know. We love you, bro. Hey, now the house has two pasty white guys. Jester continued making gaming videos and even started to make more and more real life basketball videos with friends or top ranked athletes. Jesse even decided to give in to the hype with the help of his subscribers to purchase the $1,000 ZO2 that are signed by Lonzo Ball. That video was posted May 18th of 2017. 50,000 likes and I will buy the autographed Lonzo Ball Big Baller brand shoe. Uh, oh god. Check out. Uh, there it is. $1,000 plus $67 in taxes. Boom. It has been done. Only five days later, after years of hard work and dedication, Jester the Laser had officially gained the prestigious 1 million subscriber mark. On that day, Jesse posted a compilation video of the best moments over the years to get him to where he is today. Oh. 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 Pour me a drink! 1 million subscribers, right, right. Todd! 1 million subscribers. Seeing the journey all that we've been through, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone for subscribing, for liking, for commenting. Oh my god, like the support you guys show me on the daily is absolutely like unreal. Like I'm just thanking you guys so much. We did this for 500k and I'm doing it for a million. We are releasing 1 million subscriber t-shirts. They're gonna be available for a week this time, not two days because there were so many people like, Bro, Jester, we did it for more than two days, but... Two months after the iconic day, the lease for the then 2K house was about to be up. So Jesse and TD both went house shopping to see the next location of the house. On July 17th, 2017, the video titled I'm Moving Out was posted talking about the decision about them moving out of the house. Because of the backyard, we can make hella basketball videos right there. We got a pool. This is just like a short video kind of announcing we moved in. So yeah, just to kind of like reconfirm why we moved, our lease was going to be up. And we've been talking about it for a while yeah. that we wanted to like upgrade our house. And once we saw this one with like the basketball court in the backyard for basketball videos, yeah. the pool, we'd make like pool basketball videos. Like it was definitely, we felt an investment for our channel so we could bring you guys better videos. But there were some slight problems. Two of the former roommates, Zach and Chris, were unsure of their status of moving in the house. Luckily, Chris made his decision rather quick. Shortly after, on July 22nd, a new roommate was announced, and that was Jesse's hometown friend, Mopey. Posting lately, it's because I'm dealing with college and just moving out, and that's the reason for this video. Basically, tonight's my last night in California, and I said bye to all my friends, and basically I'm leaving, so... There's really not much else that I can be doing in Westlake before I get to Colorado, but... Hey!
For about a week, nobody knew what Zack's plans were, but finally on July 31st, it was announced on Jester's channel that Zack, also known as TTG, would be returning to the house, but not alone. He would be moving in with another member of the 2K community, Los Polos TV. New roommates? Oh shit, who is it? Los Zack, what are you guys doing here? Moving in. You are? Shortly after the house was situated, the official room tour was posted showing off his huge room and his setup where he films and edits. Go through the balcony first. As you can see, a very nice balcony. I can actually see my neighbor, TD Presents. Hey, TD! Go fuck yourself! Hey! I want you to come over here and say it to my face! Maybe I will! Yeah, right. You're just gonna stand there and keep yelling. Little pussy. As you can see, the triple monitor setup is looking so. <laughs> The triple monitor setup is looking clean as usual. See, on all three screens. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. And on August 10th, 2017, Jester had faced his biggest competition yet, James Harden of the Houston Rockets. He played him one-on-one -on -one for the launch of NBA Live 18 and got demolished. Again. Oh. Oh. I am the one, no need the gun to get respect up on the street. Not much else happened after that, but I'm sure Jesse will keep on grinding and growing on the platform. He is one of the biggest and funniest in the community. My room? Get out, you get out! Get out of my room! And you Humphrey? What is wrong with you two? Literally every room I go in with a bed. Subscribe to join Bucket Squad to find one Bucket Squad today. Subscribe to join 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 Bucket Squad today. And peace. Today and peace. And peace. And peace. Today and peace. Thank you guys for watching the Jester the Laser documentary. It took a lot of writing, editing, and hard work into this documentary. I know it wasn't too long, but I didn't want to make it too extremely long for you guys not to be able to enjoy the video. If you did enjoy the video, if you could leave a like, a comment, and subscribe, that would be awesome, and I'll continue making documentaries like this. Hopefully we can get Jester the Laser to watch this video because I put a lot of hard work into it, and I think he would really enjoy it. Once again, guys, this has been Ro or OBJ, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.